Hi, I'm Gloria Yim and today I'm joined by Dr. Louis Hock Fung, a specialist in gastroenterology at Glenigals Hospital. It seems to be a common preconception that people with digestive conditions like irritable bowel syndrome or even liver disease think they should in fact avoid exercise. But is it true? And are there certain exercises that actually benefit these types of conditions? Hi, Dr. Louis. Thank you for joining us today. Can you tell us what are some of the common preconceptions about liver disease? They believe that a liver, when it is unwell, should be accorded rest and therefore exercise should be avoided. Generally, exercise does benefit the liver, especially in the instance of this common liver condition we see nowadays of fatty liver. What are the main benefits of exercise on liver conditions as well as digestive conditions? The main benefits would be one, the improved energy usage in individuals with fatty liver. Number two, exercise is thought to help improve the immune system and exercise gives them a sense of well-being that helps overcome some of the negative aspects the symptoms can give them. Are there any types of exercises that one should avoid if one has you know, one of these conditions? One condition that I can think of is a condition called gastroesophageal reflux disease or commonly termed as acid reflux. This is a condition where excessive acid from the stomach finds its way into the gullet because the door at the bottom of the gullet has become loose. We usually advise that they avoid exercise that increases the intra-abdominal pressure significantly. For example, weight training, football, rugby, that will force the acid up into the gullet and also further loosen the already loose door. Are there any exercises that should be encouraged? We would encourage aerobic form of exercise. What would you say to people at home who don't know what kind of exercises to do? We will give advice to this individual, very likely to encourage the individual to exercise and perhaps to just advise on certain types of exercise to avoid. For example, if this individual has a reflux issue, to avoid high-impact exercises. Dr. Lui, thank you very much for your diagnosis on exercise and its relation to liver conditions as well as digestive conditions. I think it's definitely safe to say that if planned properly and carried out sensibly, exercise and sport will in fact help and not worsen such conditions, which is definitely great news.